me and the Lord, we got an understanding. We're on a mission from God. Hello, and welcome to Beyond the Veil with Daniel Jackson. Me, I'm your host, Daniel Jackson. I'm going to do something that I don't normally do when we do these shows. I'm going to kind of read from a script. The reason I'm going to be reading from this script is because, well, I got a lot to say and I want to make sure that I get it right. So that's what we're going to do this time around. So starting with that script, welcome to a new year and what it means for you. The truth is, Absolutely nothing, really. Our lives are not starting over. They are just continuing. We will just continue to make choices like we do any other day. And for some of us who listen to the system, they will listen in a way that they will talk themselves out of doing things, out of everything, because they let the system do that. They let the system dictate to them who they are and allowing them to lower their own self-esteem by paying attention to the so-called standards they have out there for us set up by the system to keep us in check. You could turn that around. You could just not listen to them. Don't listen to them. Just don't do it. As I talk about a lot, I talk about spirit because I see spirit all the time. It doesn't go away. It doesn't turn off. It just is. I close my eyes. There they are. I have my eyes open. There they are. They are just there, they just are, because they just are. If that makes any sense to you, makes sense to me. But spirit, they do not have a new year. They don't have New Year's resolutions. They don't live up to expectations or a standard of living. They just go on. They just are. So why do we do it? Why do we continue to have these New Year's resolutions, these standards of living? Well, I'll tell you why, because the world has taught us that. They always want you to think you're not good enough to do anything. So that you will continue to keep up with the pace. Keep up with what you've been doing your entire lives, which is continuing to make the money flow, to make the power and control remain the same in their hands. When do we put that to an end? When do we stop listening to what they are telling us? They are telling us to do? When do we stand up and say, I've had enough? I don't want to do this anymore. It's got to happen sometime because what you need to know is we are all good enough to do absolutely anything that you want to do. Set your mind to it. Be proactive with your decisions because they are your decisions. And do something about it. Don't just sit there and wait. Don't wait for someone else to do it for you, because it's not going to happen that way. You go out and get the job because you do it. You go out and find someone to be with because you do it. You make your decisions for you. We all do it all the time. No matter what year it is, what day it is, what time it is, we make all of our own decisions for ourselves. They may not be the right decisions for us sometimes, but that's how we learn. 
We got to learn from our decisions. We have to learn from everything we do, hopefully. But there are some people out there who don't learn. They don't listen. They don't pay attention. They do the same thing over and over and over again and then wonder why their lives are not going anywhere. You're in control of that, people. You got to ask yourself, hey, does your dog, does your cat ask what time it is? They only know a sense of time because we taught them that. We taught them when they're going to be fed. We taught them when they are going to go out to the bathroom. They don't know how much time they have in a day. They don't contemplate their own lives, their own death, even while they're sick. They just believe they're just going to go on. We can learn from our pets. We can learn that we could just know we're just going to go on. We are born and then we die. And if we paid more attention to that, knowing that it could happen at any time, we would learn to appreciate those of us around us a little bit more. Ourselves a little bit more. We can learn, but we have to learn So it will help us and not contemplating what happened to us in the past. Whatever happened to you in the past is gone. It's not who you are anymore. And hopefully you learn from that. Hello, this is Daniel Jackson of Beyond the Veil. We are proudly being sponsored by The Rare Enterprise to really choose your reality you must have the right tools to facilitate it correctly. The Rare Enterprise has amazing CBD-infused products to help choose your reality when it comes to your skin, emotional, and mental stress. Use the code BTV20 to get a discount on these amazing products. That is BTV20. You don't want to go to a job and and have them tell you, well, I'm looking here at your resume, and it says uh, you did something when you were 12 years old, and... uh, Hmm. I don't think I'm going to give you the job for that. Well, you know what? I'm 55 years old now. What I did when I was 12 was, you know, in my adolescent years, I didn't know any better. But I know better now. Don't judge me on what I used to do. You don't want to be judged for what you used to do, do you? No one does. And if you don't want to be judged for that, then let it go. It's not important. It's not who you are anymore. Don't worry about those things. What will you do in this new coming year to take charge of your life? Will you listen to spirit more? Will you listen to your own soul, your inner self? Do what it's been trying to tell you to do all along? Will you do that? What kind of chances will you take that you haven't before? It's all about that, people. It's not about going back on what you did and trying to figure that out. Move forward. Be a forward-thinking person, not thinking in the past. You know, my wife and I, we recently did this. About four years ago, during a channeling message, my wife and I received a message that said we were going to be moving west. And since that four years ago, it's been, you know, four years, three and a half years, they told us we would be moving west, but we couldn't really contemplate that yet. We we didn't understand what that really meant. We didn't understand what it entailed. I mean, that would be a big move for us. We were living in Delaware. We both had lives, family, friends. What did that mean? We were just going to pick up and leave and go? Well, sometimes life brings you those types of situations. You just do it. You can just do it. You don't have to think about it for long periods of time before you do it. Some decisions are just brought to you where you need to make a choice at that moment. Well, it came to a point for both of us that our parents had passed away. There was nothing really holding us back. So we we were at this festival and we saw this realtor's booth sitting there. And I said to my wife, why don't we just go over and talk to them? So we did. We met this girl there. Her name was Jenna. And she told us that she also lived in Milford. She knew the area. So we made an appointment to have her come over and look at the house. And while right before this, I got to do a little bit of the backstory. The part of the backstory is about a year ago, we got a new message that said, not New Mexico, Arizona. Times had changed. Decisions had changed. Situations had changed as they do. Because it's just not involving me and my wife. 
it involves the world around us and things change. We were told at that point, Arizona. But we didn't know where in Arizona. There's many places to go. We started looking around in Arizona. And my wife and I, just she put out a map and I just started pointing my finger and kept getting no answers. So I put my finger down on this place called Sierra Vista. We got a yes answer. Move to Sierra Vista. There are many reasons why they wanted us to move. And I know most of those reasons. But even if I didn't know those reasons, I still felt as though we had to go. We both felt that. We knew we had to go. We had to leave Delaware and move to now Arizona. Could you do that for yourselves? If you got a message from spirit, if you got an inner feeling, would, would you just do it? Not knowing the outcome, not knowing the situation, not knowing the reasons why, would you just do it? Would you just listen to what they had to say? And as my wife and I say, and I say all the time on this program, on other programs, I listen to what spirit tells us to do. I don't always understand it. Sometimes I do get a little frustrated, but we still listen. We still follow through with what they tell us to do, where to go. Like I say this all the time when I'm out riding my motorcycle. And I say, I want to take this right-hand turn and go into town. Should I go? I get a no. Well, when I get a no answer for something, that means no. No means no, as we all know. So then I say, well, I can go two more roads down and then take a turn there. And then I get a yes. So that's what I do. I don't question after that. I don't ask for the reason. I just do as they say, because they are always looking out for our best interest. You don't know the need to know the reason for every little thing. Sometimes you just have to trust it. Sometimes you have to have faith in it. If you're getting an answer from God, you want God to explain every little detail to you? No, you just want the answer. But then when you get the answer, some people want every little detail explained. Have faith in it. Have trust in it. Move on. Move forward with that answer. And that's what my wife and I did. So after talking to Jenna, then we started looking online for homes. As I found out by going on these uh, different sites, Zillow, all these other sites, in that area, Sierra Vista, if you wanted to look at the homes, you had to sign up so you could see the complete listing. So I did. And then I had a realtor call me, our new friends, Gail and Roy. And Gail and Roy set up some appointments to do a video walkthrough because we were already still in Delaware. They went through four homes. We picked one. We made an offer. It took two and a half months. And now here we are in Arizona. We picked up. We drove across America. My truck, her car, basically her SUV. Two trailers, 10 cats, and then a 28-foot trailer came later. And we did it all by a message that was brought to us by spirit, by my spirit guides, archangels. They brought us a message. They told us it's time to go. So it was time. Our parents had passed away. Like I said, nothing was holding us back. I did pick up and move my life. My wife picked up, moved her life. We left all of our friends back behind in Delaware. My family, my two brothers, my sister. I will miss them greatly, but there's always still, you know, Zoom calls or telephone calls. And this is a new place for us. We don't know the area. We're learning the area, learning the roads, learning where the businesses are that we have to frequent. It's not easy, especially for us. We're older. I'm 55. My wife is older <laughs> than me. I don't want to mention her age because you know how women are about that crap. But what are you willing to do for yourselves? Would you be willing to just pack up and move just as we did? Like I said, if you didn't know the reasons, would you just go? Would you still do it? If they want you to do it, it's for a reason. Everybody wants the answers, but they only want the answers that they really want. And not the actual truth. Sometimes. And some people. Some people will listen and follow through. More people need to. I hope we all will learn to listen and follow through more in this next year. I hope they will do more to help themselves. I hope you will all do more to help yourselves. And we're going to try to help you as much as we can. 
as we move into this next part of our journey here together on Beyond the Veil with Daniel Jackson, me, we will continue to bring you more stories, more guests, more speakers, and more situations of which you have been told so many lies, so much deception. We will do our best and turn those lies around by providing you with the truth as we tell it the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So I hope you will join me and my wife and continue to watch, listen, and follow through with us here on Beyond the Veil with Daniel Jackson. Me. Have a great day. Be good and don't do any stupid shit. Happy New Year. This episode of Beyond the Veil with Daniel Jackson is being sponsored by The Rare Enterprise.